What is going on guys? Coach Show, not at the Lions Den. Definitely in a weird attire because why wear normal stuff when we're at Juji Mufu's gym farm? Yes, you heard me, gym farm. We'll talk to Juji a little bit more about what he's got going on here, but it's absolutely amazing. Gonna have a blast. We're gonna get a good training session in and just uh, introduce you to some of my new friends. So let's go. We're sweating. What are we doing, Juji? I just drank a liter of water on my first warm up set. <laughs> Don't pee yourself. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna look like I'm gonna pee myself because I'm sweating so many pools down here. But how do you like this white singlet? You look amazing. I do. First I think of all, I... how much weight have you lost, Eugene? About 12 pounds. This is the lowest you've been in a while? This is the lowest I've been since 2013. Oh, give us a flex. Let me see. Oh, you look amazing. Thank you. All right, let's go. Yes. Oh wow. He's also beautiful. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hook grip. Save some, save some. Like a gram of salt, apricot, cassia, and hook other like that. Sounds good, yeah. Beautiful. Apricot. I have to fight for that. Spinach. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fucking punch spinach and everything. Yeah, me too. Those are good, Tom. Tom. Oh, those are really good. Thanks. Tom, when I first met you three years ago, what do you think your devil was? I knew what it was. It was a 275 for a max. Well, 265 was my max in 2016. 17, 2017, yeah. What is it now? 520. 26? Hell yeah. yeah 523, yeah. yeah. And I could have done more on meat day, actually. What do you it, think? Like, some of the, the key biggest tips that helped you with your Accessories, good ham, Kaler Woolham English Rose. I do those a lot, John have seen me just do like 275 on rows. And for me, low volume of the actual heavy deadlifts. For a while, I was just deadlifting like once every 10 days. Um, right now in the summer, not much. <laughs> but during a meet prep, we were deadlifting, what, two times a week deadlift? A lot yeah, of volume. Yeah, the, the thing was at the meet, you know, deadlift is the last lift of the day, so you're tired. It's like you come off a long work day to deadlift. And also during the entire meat prep, deadlift was always the last exercise in a workout with squats and bench press. So his deadlift really got shafted, both of our deadlifts did, yeah. during that preparation that Alex did for us. So if Tom prioritized deadlift oh, yeah. and had deadlift first, he would have shattered 550, 560. Yeah, I think so. We Because after the Which meet... Which is a shit ton for his size, we, man. <laughs> after the meet, we did. I did go for 550. And I got it to about here, but at the, I was just done at that point though. I was like, I was pretty worn out for the meat prep. But I think I've done, I've done like 580 on trap bar. So I think, yeah, man. I, yeah, I like deadlift. And I think um, I have really shitty leverages. Like I have very short arms and long legs. Yeah. So I think we've measured when Juji does sumo, he has like seven inches less a range of motion than me because I have an ape index of plus seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess I'm really hard. Those arms are crazy. So everything is a uh, is a block deadlift for me. Yeah, he's a primate. I'm a primate. Yeah, I think you just gotta explode into the deadlift though. That's See what I some like. explosion. Explode Juju. onto that bar, Juju Buku. All over the bar. Come on, Casper the Ghost. <laughs> some singlet. And a white belt. Yeah, and the white belt. You need white shoes. Go. Yeah, you look like a endangered yes. rhino. Hey, look, fitness, social media, it's nothing but a fashion contest, okay? You're winning, brother. <laughs> I'm winning. All of us are winning right now. Giraffe himself is in the building. Right. Banana today. I'm a banana. How often would you say the majority of your time is spent there? Like, hardly. Ne never, like... A, a, t a conventional style. I'll always have weightlifting shoes on, and I'll always have a low yeah, hip position, high chest. Over 600. Let's go. Oh, a new member to the channel. <laughs> Mr. Marcus, up, guys? the most flattering attire. Marcus, tell us about your latest PR on your deadlift. How much did you pull? 400 kilos. Get out of here. Right. What in the world? I was bored. Dude, that's Really crazy. bored. I was so bored that I dedicated four months of my life to one lift. And it actually worked out really well. I'm super pumped about it. Now, now what? Be nice to my body for like <laughs> a long time. What do you think you're going to pull it in? What would be like a good weight? I mean, I could probably 800 pounds. I could probably do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just 
cash weighing 100. If it'll fit on the bar. Oh yeah. I'm you think sure. we can fit on the bar? I don't know. Switch grips are put on a belt yet, so that's a good sign. Nice! Ooh, okay. From here. You can take one more. Is uh he's on a ghost. His uh skin is kind of Come on! Wow. You right? Are you sure that's five five five? What he said. Come on, Juji, let's go! Go, go, go! Yes! Yes! Come on! Sit back. You got this, bro. Let's go! Up! Go, 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 go! Very good. Come on. Get in the parole! I want parole! North Carolina, the man's innocent! <laughs> Until proven deadlifting! Wait, he's guilty of pulling sumo. <laughs> yeah. oh, Criminal! Criminal! Yeah. More shame. shame! Shame! Yeah! Shame. 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 Yes! Shame! I'm almost free! No, ten more years. <laughs> Put him back in the stockade! No! Hey, fuck! Go crazy on this. Fuck this shit up, baby. Come on! Sit back. Come on. Back in your butt. Bring it up! Push. Yeah, Come on. there you go. Come on! Yep. Come on! Oh. Yeah. yeah, buddy! Yeah. Nice! <laughs> Yo, let's give himself a black eye. Dude, you're yeah, nice. Oh, shit, look at it! Wait, did you... Wait, let me see this, Zach. Uh... Oh! Oh! The movie star over here has these sweet shades on. Yeah. What's the deal with the shades, Zach? What is this? <laughs> Explain yourself. So I don't know if it's because I have high blood pressure or something, and every time I strain really, really hard, which I don't... Did you get my 606? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an RPE, you know, like I was basically outside my body, hovering over, watching myself lift. That's how high of an RPE that was. And so I was straining really hard, and I popped blood vessels in my face, like, often. Seriously, oh, really? yeah. Yeah, but not to this fucking extent. <laughs> not to that, not to my, both my eye sockets being like pitch black, no. Never. Truth is you look beautiful. Yeah, and it's also you, badass. Thank you, man. But you look know, way more beautiful than me in that pink singlet. Look at that nipple popping it's out I'm too. fabulous. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about it. So strong for bodybuilders deadlifts. That's strong. Really strong. 605? 605, baby. 605. Joe, you haven't deadlifted in months. Yeah. Like almost the entire year. Hasn't really been in the programming. Right. But when you come to Juji's, you do crazy things and you have a lot of fun. And that's what I call deadlifts. All right. Crazy and fun. <laughs> Still got something in you there. You do, you definitely Something's got... in there. Hey Tom, look at this. Don't do the kissing thing. Okay. With well, the can cameras. We just, can we just film each other filming each other for a while? No. Okay. I don't like that. I'm fucking hopping on a train right now. If you with sumo, <laughs> it is an art. You must flow like water. <laughs> or spread your legs. But have the rage of a groundhog. The sumo Let's go, you criminal! 
Our groundhog's angry? Yes. I, I mean, they have a problem with things. Come on. Come on in. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Still cheating. <laughs> Seven, seven, fifteen. What did it feel like? It looked like three for <laughs> Actually, felt. I think I'm sweating so much that it's like <laughs> lubricating my legs. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yep. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Cheater. Ten more years. Pathetic. Bullet conventional. Ian the Rhino. Hello. How much did you just pull? Seven seventy-five. How'd it feel? Um, it felt really good actually, but I felt like my body could do it, but it probably wasn't ready to do it. My calves were kind of like, "What are you doing right now?" Hamstrings were kind of like, "Whoa, we haven't worked this hard in a while." But ultimately, I'm not that weak yet. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> To get that strong of a deadlift, give me a couple of your main tips that, that really helped you over the last several years. So, obviously specificity, training the movement, um, being very precise with it. Sumo is very technique oriented. For me, I think a big thing with a lot of deadlifters or people who are trying to get their deadlift better is something they don't necessarily think about and that's weight distribution in the feet, which drastically affects your starting position. Now on a deadlift, if your weight is too far forward in your foot, then you're going to lose the bar in front of you, and you're going to be able to do much less weight than if your technique is a little bit better starting. If your weight is too far back in your heels, when you go to lock out, for a lot of people, when they go to lock out, their weight's going to shift forward onto their toes, and they'll probably lose the bar that way if they don't fall backwards. So making sure your weight is properly and evenly distributed in the middle of your foot, between your front and the back of your foot, your heel and your toe is very crucial to kind of give you that linear, straight vertical bar path. Oh yeah, no problem. I think you're a phenomenal deadlift here. Thank you're you. Very strong. So thank you. Once again, people got to make sure they're listening to you and giving some tips. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. So number one is one that's probably the least sexy answer you'll ever hear. It's patience and injury avoidance. You can follow almost any deadlift program for a number of years, however many training cycles, peaking, whatever you want to do. As long as you do not injure your back, and as long as you spend enough time deadlifting, you're going to get stronger. Now that's the answer I have to give number one because I'm like super anal retentive about that. But the second one would be building your glute strength and your hamstring strength so you can never have enough posterior strength. Like a great implement is the reverse hyper. Doing belt marches, Ian taught me those to warm up. A good warm up for the deadlift is great. You really want to mobilize your hips. So my third would probably be massive leg strength, which you can use a back squat, front squat, anything to increase your, your starting strength off the ground because the way I pull at least as a conventional deadlifter is extremely quad dominant off the ground. It's something that so leading up to my last training block, Ed Cohn taught me, which I actually implemented on every one of my lifts leading up to the 400 pull, is when you get into a bottom position, it's kind of like become very body aware of your quads in order to kind of activate them, right? So it sounds hokey, but the whole point is once you're here in the bottom position, you really want to force yourself off the ground with your quads. And then my first tip was increasing your glute strength and your hamstrings. So your posterior strain has to be extremely strong to lock out the lift. And then those are the main ones. I mean, mobility helps, back health helps, and not, okay, so this would be the last one. Don't deadlift heavy often, almost never. Don't max out like twice a year, maybe three times a year, but whatever the intelligent program is that you're following, going above 90% of the deadlift, it takes so long to recover from. Don't do it. Be patient. 
work at lower percentages and perfect your technique and perfect all the other things. You can hammer tons of accessories, hypertrophy work, building your back, building your erectors. There's tons of other things you could do to supplement your deadlift training using the reverse hyperextension machine instead of just deadlifting. Hell yeah, way stronger than me, so make sure you're freaking listening up on this man. He's gonna pull some serious weight. Even though it's not a max for him, it's still freaking heavy. So thanks, dude, I appreciate it, bro. Let's go, Marcus. Let's go, Marcus! Come on. Ha! Ah. Come on. Easy day, brother, come on! Let's go, get that set up. Big, big. And repeat, because you're comfortable with your masculinity. Comfortable. There you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our deadlift workout, hanging out with Juju Mufu, Tom, we got Ian, we got Marcus, we got Zach, great crew, some super strong guys. Honestly, since I've been doing hypertrophy for the last several months, I have not done basically any deadlifts uh, or any strength training, just lots and lots of volume. Uh, so I'm actually happy with my performance. You know, I feel like I didn't have great position in the deadlift and I tweaked that a little bit. I probably could have been able to pull a 715, uh, but wasn't there today. But overall, just having an absolute blast. Tons of knowledge in this place. Great people. Juju and Tom are two of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, so that's been an absolute blast. So more videos are coming your way. I think we're going to do a sick uh, arm workout that you guys should definitely try. It's called a feeder workout. Uh, Juji has done them before. I know nothing about it, but he wants to put me through one. And then we'll just kind of roll and see how the rest of this collaboration goes. But uh, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay lean, mean, track machine, and we will talk soon. Peace.